<laughs> morning guys welcome back to my channel my name is Pearl I just want to do a quick video to just share with you guys what's happening in my life what's going on um, it's been a tough past two weeks it's been really tough and ah it's like the enemy is just pounding me man it's just throwing everything at me but God is good and by his grace I will make it by the grace of God um <laughs> I've been on my healing journey for a while now and it's been going good and I've been sharing um, some of my journey with you guys I have so much more to share with you guys and I have not been able to continue since two three weeks ago the healing part is a journey it's not a destination it's a it's a journey and some of the things that's been happening is um, Sorry guys, I got a phone call and I had to take it. Mm, as you can see, I was crying, but um, crying is healthy. Crying is healthy. Um, crying is a way for me to reduce to release stress. Um, when I cry, it helps me. It's been tough. It's been tough for you guys. Um, life has not been easy. But like I said in my previous video, when life throws lemon at you, you don't make lemonade. You perceive here by the grace of God. God's got you. And I know that God has my back. And I know by His grace, I will be okay. Um... Gracie got sick and usually by this time Gracie is over her illness even when she's hospitalized you know she's doing better I mean she is doing better but usually this is time it will be over and I'm not crying because Grace is sick but guys to be dealing with um, healing journey um, dealing with childhood abuse and trauma it's just like so much has been dumped on me not only grace being sick but so much of life has been dumped on me and it's hard I never thought that I would do a video like this being so vulnerable but it's hard um, sitting up night after night with your child sleeping on your chest, not being able to sleep. Um, Gracie's been sick since last week, Wednesday. Um, the first sign of sickness I saw was Tuesday. I saw her nose was running and I knew she was coming down with something and she's been sick since um, she's had to sleep on my chest, um, making sure that she gets a puffer at the right time making sure that she's eating and she's hydrated. I'm not complaining because if I was in Gracie's place, I would want somebody to do the very same thing that I am doing for her right now. I am grateful that I am able to do it. It comes with a lot of stress because you have to make sure that she's breathing well, she's on monitor, um, making sure her heart rate is right, making sure her Oxygen level is right. She's sat in well. Um, making sure that she gets a med on time. Um, and you have to do that throughout the night, throughout the day. Um, not being able to go to the bathroom. Um, when you need to go to the bathroom, holding your bladder, you know that's going to cause trouble. Um, so yeah, trying to take care of myself. It's not easy, but I have to. Um, my husband is not here to help me. My husband has to go to work. Somebody has to work. 
to help with the finance. <laughs> We're living in a country where everything you have to pay for it. So he has to go. Um, yeah, so it's me doing that. Um, I just asked for the PSW to come back. So she's getting a PSW. We, I think we're going to get one who's consistent, um, two hours a day. Um, it's not much, but it is something. The two hours fly by so fast. She was getting from last week, she was getting, but it's like every day, every day you have a new person coming and two hours you've got when that new person comes in you have to sit and explain and introduce that person to grace introduce grace to the person sit and explain grace's situation um what grace like what she doesn't like what to do what not to do how to do this how to do that the the time just flies by and you got nothing out of it tomorrow another person is coming the same thing the next day another person is coming the same thing it's, it's too much. It's, it's just too much. I'm not getting any help. It's more stress. But yesterday, because Gracie is sick, I had called to hold off her services because I don't want nobody coming sick. And if Gracie is sick, I don't think it's right for anybody to come because these same people have to go to another person and it's not fair. It's not right. So I usually tell them when Gracie is sick and put a hold on her service. But somebody came in yesterday and um, I told them that, but they were okay to come. And this person seemed to be very positive. This person seemed to be very helpful and very encouraging. Um, I like the fact that this person is not too young, like a teenager, early teens or early 20s. And I'm not knocking off young people. But the reason I'm saying that is this person has children and this person have experience and this person comes with what I need right now. And they, she has a lot of wisdom. For what I saw from her yesterday, what I gathered, um, I would love to work with that person. I would love for that person to come and help out with grace because I think that I will get a lot from that person. I think it will be a plus. And mind you, I've had a lot of people come through this place and I get a lot of stress because they're not easy to deal with and they're not doing what they're supposed to do. Um, a lot of them want to come and just sit down and not do anything. And Gracie is there doing her own I don't want that. I want somebody to come to help, to help. Gracie is having behavioral issues. Gracie just finished last month, 12 weeks of behavioral therapy. And the reason that she is getting that is because she is doing self injury. She is, anyways, before I go so far, for those of you who are new here, you might not know about Grace. Gracie is my daughter. She is diagnosed with trisomy 18, full trisomy 18, and autism level 3. Now, with Grace, she has the autism level 3. Um, she's not able to express herself. Gracie will say some words. Gracie will say some words sometimes. And for a while, she will be saying words, and then she will go mute. For a long time, she will not talk, and then she starts to babble again, and then she starts to say words. And she's trying to express herself, and she's not able to express herself. So that is causing frustration for her. And as a result, she's hitting herself to get your attention, or she's banging her head on whatever. And as a mother, it's frightening to see your child going through this doing that because you're thinking okay she's gonna hurt herself what if she gets a brain injury you know by hitting herself like that is she shaking her brain is there swelling is she bleeding and all these crazy things are coming in your head and i can't leave her alone i have to sit with her all the time you know and i got the behavioral therapy for her for 12 weeks she got that 
and I have hard I've I've tried so hard for Gracie to get speech and language and because of a diagnosis the doors are just shutting in her face it's like they believe that she will not do anything and she is so capable you guys she is so capable of doing so much and the lack of interest to help her it just hurts so much and when the people came to do the 12 weeks they saw the potential in Gracie finally somebody they saw the potential in her well she is quite capable and she's very smart what they did was the queuing they have those pictures where she has to um, point to a touch it to say what she wants and at first Gracie didn't want them to touch her at all don't touch me but then they, they kept on doing it and they were initiating it at first for her to touch to kill and it didn't take her that long for her to do it on her own it didn't take that long for her to do it and They gave me a bunch of stuff for me to do for her, which is helping. And this lady who came, the PSW, she she has the knowledge, you know, she has some knowledge. And she she was so interesting. It was so interesting to talk to her yesterday. And I can't wait for her to come back. And when I asked the people help Grace with a walker, you know, just help her to walk around, they would they, they don't have interest. They do it one time and they're done. And you have two hours. Most of them when they come, they just wanna go, just come, tap in and to know they were there and they, they're out of the door. They get the money. A lot of these a lot of people are in this field. Not because they care, not because they wanna help, but because they want the money. And it's causing so much frustration for me and so much stress for me on top of what I have going on. But this lady came and I think she will do really well here. I think she will fit well here. And I thank God for that. And she's really encouraging me to take time out to take care of myself. I just did a video I want to share with you guys about five things I've learned during this journey, right? Of self-love. It's a beautiful journey. I want I have done that video, but I want to upload it. Um but the self care this is where I'm having difficulty at times because I have my daughter who is, um, I don't like using that word, but don't like labeling her, but special needs and she needs a lot of care and it is just me. I have no, no family helping. It's just my husband, myself and my children. And it is just me taking care of Gracie. I am the primary caretaker and it is, it is hard at times. Um, I love Grace very much, very, very much. I love this little girl and she's such a blessing, but that does not mean that it is easy. And this morning I just came here and the cold that Gracie has, I never used to get colds when Gracie got sick, but this time I got the cold. Um, and not being able to go to the bathroom, then you know what happens. And I have this kind of pain as well. Um, and it just hit me this morning and I just felt so, so overwhelmed thinking of all the stuff that is going on, everything that I have to navigate through and so much I have to do as a single person. Not that I'm a single parent, I have my husband, but as a, like it's me who have, I am the one who have to go through all of it. I am the one who have to do it all. And it just hit me this morning and I just spoke to Gracie's nurse practitioner and 
whilst I was talking to her about some things that I need help with, it just it just broke me and I just realized how much how much I'm doing, how much I'm going through, and how much I am neglecting self-care for myself. And I'm not doing it on purpose. I'm not doing it deliberately. But it's just that I don't have the time for me to take care of myself. I don't have the luxury to take some time out to take care of myself because she's doing self-injury and I'm the only one who's here with her. I have to sit by her. She wants me to sit by her. She wants me to hold her. She wants... <sighs> it's a lot, you guys. But nonetheless, I cannot give up. Yes, I'm having this moment there this morning. But right now, I'm feeling like I'm bouncing back. I'm bouncing back because I have to push through. And I know that God has a plan for my life, for Grace's life. And it's not a plan to harm me or her. It's a plan to prosper us. And I don't know what you are going through this morning or today, whatever time it is, wherever you are. I don't know what you're going through. But I just want to encourage you to not give up. Don't give up. You can't afford to give up. Keep on pushing through. Persevere in whatever it is that you're doing. You will see the light of the day. Maybe you don't see any way out right now. But believe me, there is always a way out by God's grace. I was just here doing stuff and my mind told me, just do a video. Share with people. Let them see what it is like. Remember, it is a journey, not a destination. You know, things will come our way, but stay focused. Yes, sometimes you will cry, but remember, like I said, crying is also a form of therapy. Yes, I'm crying, but it's therapeutic for me. Um, when I'm done with this video, I'm just gonna go feed Grace. I just did, did some warm lemon water for me to drink and it was too hot I left it there but I'm pretty sure when I go back in the kitchen it's gonna be too cool I probably will have to add some warm water to it and add some more lemon to it but I am going to push through I'm gonna to try to drink as much water as possible and the other thing is I try to limit my water intake which is not good why did I do that? I did that because of the bathroom breaks. Because I needed to sit with Grace and I didn't want to leave her and go to the bathroom because she's hurting herself. But I am going to try my best to drink some more water. I have a mat on the floor for Gracie. Like you, it's, it's very thick. I have that mat on the floor for her. I have some pillows. Um, I will put the pillows around her and run to the bathroom do what i have to do and run back i must keep myself hydrated um i probably will do a fast for myself just eat one meal for the day well this is typically what i do but what i find i was doing i used to grab whatever was available and just eat it because i don't have the time to go prepare something that is good enough for me so when my when her PSW comes here, I will probably go to the kitchen and prep some food, maybe make some salads and put them in the fridge, make some food and put them in there. So when I'm hungry, I will be able to get something. What I will probably do is to prepare something that I will not have to warm when I have to eat. So it's always available and thank God I am a salad lover. I love to eat salad. So I will make, sorry you guys, I will make some salad. I will make the dressing and have everything in the fridge. I need to clear my fridge as well. I need to clean up my fridge, but I don't think I will have time to do all of that today. So maybe tomorrow, God's willing, <laughs> my other assignment will be 
cleaning the fridge when the PSW comes here and try to find some time during the tonight to edit my video hopefully this video doesn't have much editing to do and excuse me if I don't think I will do much editing I just want to upload this video and I really want to keep doing my videos because YouTube is an outlet for me and and it's a way for me to document my journey as well and I am hoping by me documenting my journey on YouTube it will help other people that want to start the journey who are on the journey or who doesn't know how to start so hopefully it will encourage you and by you commenting it it is really really encouraging for me so please don't forget to comment like the video and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel don't forget to comment I really appreciate every comment and I try my best to reply to and I think that I'm gonna end this video here I hope that I did not just babble a lot here I hope that you will get something positive out of this video thank you so much for watching and until next time take care of yourself